welcome. Brad's house. Nothing special. It's another dump in Long Beach. You know, I call home. All right, guys, welcome back to Garage Brad. Wait, no, that's not my show. Anyways, Brad's Garage. Today, we're doing what our always favorite thing to do is put uh, inexpensive and budget-friendly parts on our budget-friendly cars. As you guys remember, we did the SEMA Slammer. It was a great build, and uh, I chose some probably less than capable parts for that build. But I, I say less than capable, they've actually made it through this whole time. I probably got 3,500 or 4,000 miles. That sounds like a lot, but I do a lot of driving on the Accord on the parts that we're gonna take out. Now, if you wanna go back to that video, we could probably cut to it. They were $50. Minus $50 coil chicken bob thingy knob things that go on top of your stock struts. $50 to lower your car. We lowered the car, she's lowered and rides considerably not so great. <laughs> Now we are going to upgrade with, as you guys can tell, something in this box that'll make maybe those $50 coilovers better. But we'll go over that and talk about that and uh, open this. So to begin with, we actually partnered up with a few people this year so that we're able to send out some more of these videos to you guys. And the goal is to probably have at least one video a week for the whole next year. So in doing so, Max Speeding Rods, the people that actually I buy the turbos from, all the cheap turbos that you guys see me using are what's considered Max Speeding Rod turbos. They also make coilovers. They make suspension compartment, suspension components, they make uh, crankshafts, rods, and a few other things. We're gonna throw the link down below for the Max Speeding Rod uh, website, and there's also a discount code for everybody who wants to use it. So. We're going to go over what Max Speeding Rod sent us for the Accord because they obviously felt bad about what I bought from eBay. And I do love eBay, you guys, because all next year, eBay projects are coming. Now, I can tell already that these are a lot nicer than what we started before because they're heavy. And they actually have a bunch of nice, cool things. So when they asked what ones we wanted, I asked for the fully adjustable ones. Now this is the front, and I believe it says it's 24 adjustable. So right here, this is your height adjustment. So now we don't have to set preload for height. We can actually move up and down off of this guy right here. That's one of the adjustments. And that's how high the car will actually sit on. Then you have preload, which is how much spring rate you're pushing up against the hat. So now we actually have a nice ride where before we had just like, we had nothing. We'll go over and show that. And then on top of that, if you take this little cap off, we have an adjustment here. And that adjustment there is your rebound. So you can see it click. So we have different rebound adjustments on this also. So it looks like there's a lot, but we'll figure that out when we get it in the car. Before we uh, put these on, let's jump in the Honda, go for my little over the bridge cruise that I call. It's my shakedown bridge because anytime I break something, I know I can like coast back. But uh, we'll go over the bridge and we're gonna show you how horrible this car rides right now. I gotta put on my dang racing seat belt to drive my four cylinder Accord in case I fall out of my, my car. This, this is the best of all right here. You gotta be part of the cool kid club to have one of these, I'm just telling you right now. Oh, here we go, we're gonna hear it here. We definitely need power adders, you guys. That'll be coming soon. Comment below what you guys wanna see us to do for power adders on this. And, okay, I'm crying about this suspension. But for $50, to be honest with you, if you wanted to lower your car and you wanted to be cool and you were on a super budget, it works. Like, and it actually hits corners and does well. But if you're 45 years old and have broken your back twice, it rides like shit. And when you put Gary in the back, one of your kids, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Every time I drive the hot rod here, I think sometimes it hits so hard. Yeah, even up here it's worse, it goes like this. Boom, boom. Watch. <laughs> yeah, that bump in the hot rod in the, in the back. The T bucket it feels like you're gonna fly sometimes. It's rough. Let's go home, take off the blown stock Honda struts with what is called a coil over kit that we got. Very affordable. And uh, we will not put the link in it there for you, but uh, yeah, we'll take that out and show you what we got going. On. Running shot. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I think there's a lot of noises going on. It's shaving the metal off. Oh, it is. Look at the metal right there. Oh, holy crap. So, this is probably not what you want. This is probably junk. We'll just take this and, uh, you know. How could you say that this is just not far better quality? I mean, the Look at the girth of this. I mean, and we're just going for shaft size alone, you know? I'm not even making any color differential or anything, but I mean, the yellow one's bigger. So, see, it's gonna lower it a lot because that's pushing that thing up this much right there. And I still have full ride. Like, I'm not sacrificing any ride right now, which is cool. Before to be that low, the shaft had to be real small, and I was sacrificing my ride height. Take the jack stands out, lower it down, make sure we're at a ride height that we want. Not lowered. Oh, that's perfect. I'm stoked with that. I'll take that. Oh yeah, suspension. Our last one, and then we're gonna go for a initial ride. Who knows how they're adjusted. I went 10 in the front and six in the back. I like my front a little stiff all the time because I dip through things, I'm not good.
Mm. We're pretty much ready to go for a cruise. Find out if we got any bangaroos. Where are we at? Oh, perfect. With suspension? Are you kidding me? I even think that's soft. That might put them tighten that up even more. I like it stiff. It works better. Oh, this is where the keys are. <laughs> Man, I hate that. I knew I left them in the car. I just didn't know exactly where I left them in the car. Oh, yeah. I didn't even feel that little dip over there that we just went over. Oh, like that bump right there. We do have a tire scraper's problem. It's easy, though. I haven't rolled my fenders yet. You gotta roll your fenders. That's what Vargas wanted to come with the baseball bat. I was like, no, Vargas. We're not using a baseball bat on my fender. Good. Oh, yeah. That's tired. Like, boom, boom. Right there, we would have been boom, 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 boom. Right here. Bam. Dang. Okay, so. $50 versus, I want to say these were a little under $300. Night and day difference. That is honestly preload. We need to put preload into the front. I bet you if I do two turns on the front coils, it won't do that. And if I roll the fenders, that's the because it's not rolled. But all right here, watch this part right here. Oh, perfect. That's okay. Oh, it's fine. Way better than before. So now what I'm gonna do is I left the back seats open so that I could reach in and turn the tops on. And same with the front, and I'm just going to click everything up like five clicks from where it's at right now. Again, we stiffened it up five more clicks. And that's the actual rebound that actually is in the spring tension. I do believe we need a little more spring tension, but man, it drove nice. Find out this bump up here. This is the killer. Makes the car fly. Ooh, here it goes. Oh, so nice. All right, not gonna lie. I probably just roll the fenders because I was looking at it right now and I like the way the height is. If I could add preload to the front spring, but that would Scroll actually just make it ride. Right. Yeah, a little, it wouldn't be as soft. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and, all right, Vargas, we're gonna roll the fenders. You're right, Poppy. 